Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. This is actually happening, guys. We are starting with Ronaldo, with Dybala, with Ramsey. Oh, let the game begin. My name is Roman, this is UV Therapy. I'm smiling because it's another day and another football game with Juventus against Spa this time. Another three points to grab, to steal, to take, whatever. Uh, and we need them because these teams, these games are just perfect for us to get the confidence and just don't slip up, don't embarrass ourselves. Just get those solid three points and get on with the season. So today we are actually starting with Aaron Ramsey, Paulo Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo, Adrian Rabio, Matthias De Ligt. I mean, this is just dandy, really. Unfortunately, Alexandro's dad passed away this week, I believe, so he has been granted um, some leave, so he is now in Brazil, uh, probably with his family, so my condolences to him. Instead of him on the left back, there will be, well, since we got no left back, we needed to be a bit creative. And uh, Blais Matuidi, he is the yes man for sure. So he stepped up and now today he is playing left back. Let's see how that goes. Well, probably the only reason for that is being uh, that he is a left footer. That's about it. Uh, Rabiot, I don't even want to consider as a left back, even though I think he is also a left footer. So. Uh, there would be only Blaise Matuidi. Beruato, our youngster, is on the bench, called up for this game. Uh, he will start on the bench, yes. And, uh, well, for the rest, it's very pretty straightforward. We have Gigi Buffon in the goal. He will beat Paolo Madeline's record of Serie A games during his career. So, up yours, Milanisti. And Baducci is our captain, yet again. Uh, he's been impressive so far, so... Let's build that up. Let's just not um, go into meltdown and uh, be arrogant. Just Bonucci, be a leader. I need that today. Next team is, of course, Matthias De Ligt and Juan Cuadrado, who has impressed me as a right back so far this season. Bonucci, the guy I bashed last season. Cuadrado, who everybody bashed for a couple of seasons. Both are playing great so far. So. I'm not sure if it's due to Sarri or just due to their mentality now. They may be a bit more mature. I don't know. But the fact is that they are all starting. In the center of the midfield, Mira Limpianic is in there, of course, next to Sami Kedira, who has also played okay so far. And Adrian Rabiot gets chance again, and this time at the J Stadium. So uh, excited, excited. And of course, going forward, yeah. It's Ramsey behind Cristiano and Dybala, and I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I want to see goals, not so much, I don't know, not many goals, but I want to see some progress. And with these guys, well, anything good can happen. I just, I just don't believe that we're gonna scuffle this one. I just don't, don't believe that we're gonna lose tonight. So that's why I'm going with a 3-0 victory. Actually, we're going to keep a clean sheet for once. 3-0, goal scorers Dybala, Cristiano and Aaron Ramsey. Let's be crazy. And there you go. See you at halftime. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, so 1-0 at the break. Finally, we break the deadlock just before halftime with Mira Limpianic. Beautiful strike. I don't know. It's just... It's just so slow paced this first half, and really the fact is that um, Ramsey, Ronaldo, and Dybala play together uh, doesn't show really. So therefore, it's been a sloppy, sloppy, calm first half. Uh, Pjanic, however, had been stellar, absolutely excellent so far. So let's hope he continues in second half as well. Um, De Ligt looked uh, good. Um, Cuadrado has been. A bit dodgy at the back, Matuidi has looked quite okay actually at the left back. So continue build up, build up. We're gonna score the second one. I'm so sure we're gonna score the second one sooner or later because I just don't see goals in Spal at all. Pitania is the only threat and Delict got him by the balls. So we are in total control, but I need more pace, I need more from Ramsey, I need more from Dybala, and of course I want a goal from Cristiano because 
This is Spal Cristiano. I expect a goal from you. Well, that's about it. 2-0 and uh, well, for sure, I'm happy. F of course, we keep a clean sheet. We scored two goals. Could have had seven. But uh, the fact is that uh, we're getting those three points. It's just perfect. Very nice. And uh, I really hope that Inter gonna shit themselves against Sampdoria. Let's wait and see what happens there. But we are playing just okay. I mean, Miral and Pjanic, guys. Out of this world tonight. Out of this world, absolutely crazy. Uh, everything he does was just perfect to me this evening. I loved it. I loved him tonight. And it's probably one of these best, best performance in Euro shirt by far. For Cristiano, however, this has been a frustrating game. Berisha was excellent in uh, Spal goal. If Ronaldo is on fire, if Ronaldo is focused, he will get that ball. He will run. He will dribble past that guy. But he didn't. He was very frustrated after not not doing that. And he just looked very, very weird. Uh, finally, though, he got that goal I was looking for. Great, great ball from Dybala, who got uh, also a wonderful, wonderful pass from Mira Lempjanic. Uh, it was just beauty, beautiful to see. Um, I, bet, um, I bet the guys are happy because they're playing good football now. Uh, and Ronaldo with that goal, well, finally he can rest easy tonight, knowing that he finally scored tonight. Um, overall, I don't know, every single guy out there looked okay. Nobody will get a better rating from me. Maybe I will bash Cristiano. So let's dive into it. Um, Gigi Buffon, pff, well, uh, 7 out of 10 because he had nothing to do, almost nothing to do. Um, so 7 for doing nothing. Well done. Um, Blais Matuidi deputizing on the left back uh, since Alexandre is in Brazil. Um, well, what to say? Um, not that bad. Not that bad. Controlled, but this was Spal. So uh, if we were going to lose Alexandre for one or two games, I'm perfectly fine with it being Spal today. Matuidi did very good. So uh, well, 7 out of 10 for him as well. Controlled, controlled his left flank, was a bit crazy going forward, but then realized, well, wait a minute, I'm a left back. <laughs> I need to track back. Matthijs De Ligt will get an 8 from me tonight. I am generous, guys, because this guy bullied Petania. This guy bullied everybody. Nervy start, but in the end, guys, for the most 90 minutes, he played great. I gotta say, I will hand 8 out of 10 to Bonucci as well, because... I don't know, I just feel that confidence with him right now. And this is a good, good thing to have coming into this. Tricky games in the future now. Uh, and since Chiellini is out for some time, we need a strong, solid leader. And Bonucci seems to be the answer. I'm too a bit premature to call him a great leader. But today he did okay. So I'll just slap him with 8 out of 10 as well. Uh, Juan Cuadrado, adequate first half, much better in second, so I don't know, 7.5. Work in progress for him as well, because he naturally is a winger, but now playing as a right back. Uh, so I will not give him an 8, relax. Um, Miral and Pjanic, 9 out of 10. Come on, I will say it, 9 out of 10. Great, absolutely wonderful. Uh, full of praise, full of praise for the Bosnian today. Um, Adrian Rabiot, 6.5, 6.5, did okay, uh, I gotta say did okay, but really, um, uh, needs match fitness, needs to play in order to regain that sharpness that he's lacking, clearly, we can see that. So, uh, I will not give him a 7 tonight, so just, it's just a 6.5, unfortunately. Sami Khedira, 7, but again, I don't know why, I just feel that he's there. Should have scored for 1-0 in the first half. Quadrado cross and then uh, Kedira headed it just, just outside the post. But I don't know. It just feels to me that Kedira is doing something. But I don't know what. So for that he will just be granted with a 7. Aaron Ramsey. This is a tricky one. Uh, because I didn't, think, I didn't think that he had a particularly great game. However, I see the potential, I see that he's linking up with the guys, I see what he does, I see what he can do. Uh, tonight, it was just 
are okay. Uh, 7 out of 10. Let's just keep it simple. Uh, Cristiano. Uh, this will be tough. This will be very, very tough. Uh, should have scored 3, 4. Scored only 1. Partially because Budrisha was great, but also because he was sloppy. I don't know. And overall play was not, was not good today uh, from Cristiano. So, um, 7. 7 out of 10. And this is only because he finally scored. I gotta say, poor game from uh, Ronaldo tonight. Poor game. I expect more, much more from him in the Champions League against Leverkusen on uh, Tuesday night. And to top it off with uh, Dybala. Okay, uh, first half, much better in second. 7.5. 7.5 for Dybala. Great assist to Cristiano. Wonderful. And uh, we keep a clean sheet. Uh, I really hope it will be one of many this season because the way we play we will struggle to uh, to not concede but and again the list was great tonight Bonucci looks solid so if we build up on that if Quadrado learns how to defend if Alexander gets back from Brazil and will still be as sharp as ever we might be good Dib uh, sorry, um, Matuidi can dip it eyes on the left back. Looks okay today. So it's all up in the air, but I'm confident. I'm confident we're gonna get better. Let's go into this Leverkusen game with confidence, knowing, knowing very well that we can beat them and we will beat them. See you then. Please remember subscribing, like my video, and comment below. So see you for my uh, match day vlog, of course, for the Leverkusen game. And also, oh, come on, I will say this, I will be at J Stadium this season.